Hello, welcome to Two Tubas and a Canadian. I'm your host, Tuba One, Owen Clifford. I'm your host, Tuba One, Marcelo Diaz. And I'm the Canadian. Today we have a very special yeah, guest. Right, we have an audience. Yes, we have a, this is our second live, live studio, studio audience. audience. Live studio. Uh, yep. Uh, we have a very special guest today, uh, a science teacher here at the school. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Michael Doyle, a science teacher here at the school. Great introduction. That's, that's wonderful. Yep. I'm a, I, I live in Bluefield. Wow, 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 wow. Before we get too far into this, I, I happen to know uh, Owen Clifford as a student. Ooh. Absolutely brilliant and absolutely out of his mind. Well, thank so, you for so, uh, and, I, and both are, are, are critical uh, t- things to being a successful human being on this planet. Mm. Um, does not necessarily mean, lead to a successful student. You happen to be a successful right. student, but those are, I'm not sure those are helpful <laughs> or maybe hindrances wow. to you. Yeah. But, uh, They've no, been helpful so, so far, so. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm sure it does. You got it's me this far. All right, so. All right. So, uh, I guess we'll just start off here. Uh, Leo will go first. Yeah. I'll go first? All right. Oh, yeah. Here we go, the Canadian first. Here we go. Um, we'll just get straight to it here. <laughs> Since you won't say it, how did you lose all of your beautiful hair? How did I lose all my beautiful hair? Yeah. Yeah, what happened um, combination of age and testosterone and frustration with students like Owen Clifford. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. You used to be so beautiful. Uh, I, no, no, I am as beautiful as I've ever been. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. What do you mean used to? Oh, okay. Where did that used to come in there? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I, I am yeah, jealous. I, I am yeah. jealous. Yeah. I am jealous. Whoa. I am jealous of the hair. It's, uh, it's, yeah, look at this. This is like yeah. a you got a beautiful, nest. beautiful hair. You stored two Thank you so much. I've I've lost countless things in this hair. It's a, oh, a sad story, but I can't talk about it. Please, I, I please, can, no, no, it's a sad no, story. We, we were talking three, about a student a today. Minutes. I learned something about uh, student hair uh, in class. I'm sure it had something to do with the curriculum. Um, but a young man explained he had a gorgeous head of hair, gorgeous. So I said, how much time does it take for you to fix your hair? And he spends a half an hour every morning. A half an hour. Marcella so, just wakes up and... Mm-hmm. No, but that's, that, that discussion happened yesterday. Today, he comes in, and, and most of his hair is cut off. Oh, no. So, first I'm thinking, wow, the influence a teacher has on yeah, a student. But no, it actually turns that's, out that's there was tragic. a miscommunication between him and his barber. So, yeah. so you, did, yeah. you destroyed his life, Dr. Yeah. 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 He, 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 he seems fine. It, 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 as he says, it'll just grow back. So yeah, It looks great the way it is. It just... And he did say now he saves a lot of time on his hair in the morning. So. Well, How much time do you spend on your hair in the morning? None. Really? Yeah. Wow. I wake up beautiful every day. No, no, seriously. This is a way you can make some money. Oh, wow. You cool. should. Right. You can literally, without lying, tell people that whatever product you use, you can put, make water and put a little bit of salt in it, a little bit of, I don't know, grind up some basil, put it Ooh. in. And, like then, and then you say, you're the, you're the, we, we have something called, I don't know, Clifford Miracle Juice or whatever That's you want to call it. That's a real thing. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> and people say, well, I would, I would never Let use Clifford Miracle, Miracle Juice. juice. I use this. That sounds disgusting. I use this every day. And you wouldn't be lying. Everybody would you buy it? Would, would you seriously buy a product? If it grew like that, but nobody, I don't have hair to work with. would call Clifford <laughs> Miracle Juice. <laughs> Everyone, um, All right, maybe change the juice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> Everyone go out there and buy our drink, Mountie Cola. <laughs> our drink? Oh, yeah, we've Mountie made a soda, Cola. Mountie Cola. Yeah, go buy it. It's the worst soda. <laughs> it's the yeah, worst. We, we, we found a bunch of off-brand sodas, and we mixed traditional cola. We're actually going to interest some point here. What okay. what makes something sell? Look what happened to Bud Light. Miracle juice. Look what happened to Bud Light. What happened mm. to Bud Light? What happened to Bud Light? What happened to Bud Light is they, they, they well, you heard what happened to Bud Light. Yeah, I've heard yeah, of so, it. So, um, but the interesting, the interesting I, thing about Bud Light is that Bud Light. They, they, what they, happened to Bud Light? You know, myself. They started like you know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you can you can let your audience. So if anybody's been under a rock the last few weeks, Bud Light uh, in the last thirty years has taken over the light beer market right um and the and bud light no, the light beers aren't bad beers are just not if you're not into heavy beers the, you really can't tell the difference between Coors light or bud light or well mellow light or right. what other lights are so their whole thing is based on marketing so when you when you hold that bud light and you're in a public space with your bud light that bud light it's a light beer but it represents something 
alcoholism. Right. Like the, it represents the three fog, the three fogs that. Oh, right. Right. Well, I don't think alcohol. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not allowed to talk. I really talk about. Oh, like, you know what? You know what? I can't talk about alcohol. It's so two fifty. It's two fifty. Right? No, you're but I'm in the too. building. You're right. No, we're talking about marketing. We're right so, next to the. No, so the point, the, the the point is, people weren't buying the beer for the beer. They were buying it for. The the. Brand. Why do you want to buy what? Reputation. So These were like two dollars. Yeah, that's what I said. God bless you. <laughs> What about my my disgusting crocs? Yeah, my crocs? My absolutely so, so what, what is the magic? Shoes. What is These the magic disgusting. with crocs? They're, uh, uh they're, you can cook you with them. them. Hmm? You can cook with them. Crocs? Well, like you can wear crocs? them. It says you cannot cook with crocs. I feel like I feel like chefs Google cook with them because it's like yes. they grip. That's oh. not a reliable source. I I thought you meant like cooking the shoes. No, right? you can't cook the shoes. I have to say I have to tip my hat to the three of you. Because I'm looking for something that gives me evidence that you are <laughs> spending hard-earned money. We don't afford. <laughs> yeah, we don't. I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, you do have a switch. You do have a switch. No, no, but look. look, look, look. I got a hold. I got a hold. I just bought new ones. I just bought new ones. Uh, do you have a, We're all do you bums. Have, do you have a separate pair of sneakers? We're all bums. No, I just have sneakers. You, you wear the same shirt every day. Same company shirt. Yeah, he's it's a right different right. shirt. Excuse me. He wears a bunch it's of unbranded clothing. Like he just like shows no, no, his shirts are just like nice. solid, bright colors. Oh, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do, They're my shirt Do, do other students notice somebody who's wearing unbranded stuff? No. It depends. Well, Leo like looks like he just like tears a bunch of fabric <laughs> yeah. off like a, a spool and just. How do you know? I People don't. recognize him around the building because he's short and he looks like a, a highlighter. highlighter. Exactly. So he's like and very he recognizable. Do you wear the same? <laughs> that's true. Do you wear the same color every day? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's I w- neon green every neon day. That's, green, oh, that's his jacket. Neon yellow, neon red, neon. He- and it's his neon. pants, his pants are also neon as well. It's an yeah. embarrassing yeah. Neon or gray? Well, it's just, I, I, listen, I'm excuse me. I'm, 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 I'm not fascinated by kids who have the fanciest sneakers because they're not buying a fanciest sneaker for them because they want that quality Crocs sneaker. More I am fascinated by the kids that make a deliberate point not to be part of them. Right, right. That's what gives me hope. I understand. And I, I wish, it sounds I wish. like, it, it sounds like, yeah. I can't say, I can't even use the language I want to use, but it sounds like BS. Yeah. But, but if That's there's any, if there's any it. hope, it. if there's any hope for this, uh, Mr. Atkins' wife for, listens for to this podcast. Land, yeah, Amy listens. Just be to it's yeah. kids that come think for themselves. That's true. That's what we are. Because Marcelo has like sweatshop sneakers. I didn't choose these. <laughs> what do you have? The thing is, what well, a part of the part of the problem is. That, so you know where shoes. I bought these? Goodwill. Yeah. Good. My <laughs> dad drove me to the Goodwill and was like, "We're getting you new shoes." I drove <laughs> to no, the Goodwill. Thanks, the dad. I have no Goodwill. Look like my shoes that I wear. That's a... What what shoes are you wearing? But these are well, Tim's. These, you got the Tim's. These are cheap. He do oh, got the Tim's. These are Wolverines. Wolverines. Ooh, oh, excuse me. They're not Tim's. What are you, what are you, those, are, the, those are Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Those are. Good. I buy these uh, better I wear, than my disgusting uh, Crocs. <laughs> they, I, I buy absolutely uh, when they wear out. I buy another pair. I know they fit. They they. Are those the only shoes you own? <laughs> no, I, I own a pair of dress shoes too, and a pair of sandals. Yeah, those are. Yeah. You don't own sneakers. Like if you went out for a I jog, you'd wear no, your I don't hiking boots. I, 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 this is this is a sound. I used to buy New Balance. Right. Well, I think they I have often New Balance. Is what I but mean. they stopped. They they started. They used to make them in the states. Yeah. Which mattered to me. States. The states. states. The United States. Like the like the states. Like the United States. Like the and then, so people. So so so. The states. Listen, which. <laughs> Wealthy, <laughs> relatively United wealthy, which is pretty much anybody, you know, in, uh, that, that has a, a home in this country, a house, I shouldn't say home. Um, they, they, they say, oh, I'm going to buy New Balance because it's American and it's not, you know, Nike has a reputation, whether it's true or not, of sweatshops in the past. And they say, we're going to fix things. And, um, God bless. But so so I made a point of going to buy, buy a New Balance, and plus they were they were comfortable. But but New Balance, I bought a New Balance that didn't fit right. And, they, and the problem with shoes, and you guys know this is, is, there was a time when if you buy shoes from this particular manufacturer, and you bought them six months later, another pair six months later, it was exactly the same as you got before. Right. It's the same as clothes. If, if you bought right. Levi's, but now they have different sources. All, yeah. So even if it's the exact same name, same pattern, same whatever, not same pattern, but same style number. Mm-hmm. They don't fit the same as I. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm getting fat too. That helps, but but they don't fit the same. Yeah. Because they're not the same. Yeah. They change their de- same designs up like Which very would be often. F- I've noticed that. Fine if I wasn't paying fifty dollars for a pair of jeans. That's true. If my I'm favorite, paying... my favorite jacket. That everyone's talking about here the, the yeah, neon jacket. The highlighter one. I want like 
it's starting to get small. Like, it, it, it's, and I want a bigger one. You've been the same height for like 12 You years. haven't grown since fifth grade. Oh anyway, I, I was trying to get a new one, and they don't make the same one. Like, no, they, they don't. They don't. But and there's I a reason need, for that. Do you support child that. labor? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no, no, that's a fair question. Because if I buy from a company that uses child labor, you will feel, you'll feel guilty. then I'm probably... I'm, Without being aware of it, supporting child labor. It's a it's a very interesting okay, question. Either, okay. okay, well, you take can't... the place of take the place of like the head of this giant shoe manufacturer, unnamed shoe manufacturer, mm-hmm. and like you have to pay minimum wage here in the states, right? In Brazil, you just go into the mountains with like a sack, put a bunch of children inside, <laughs> come back down to your little factory. The children they just work for sack. you. You know what I mean? That's like Krampus, sad. but for like shoes. <laughs> the children are in the sack. You're not parents yet, and, and whether you choose to be in the future is, is, of course, your own business. But the idea that a parent has to watch their child yeah. do what they, uh, the kids do in order to make shoes. And, and listen, if, the, if, if we were, if this, if, let's, we'll pick a, a, a brand name, we'll make one up. Uh, we can't get sued, so Owens. unnamed, unnamed. Oh, Miracle oh. Juice, Miracle, miracle Juice. juice. Clifford's Miracle Clifford. Juice. Oh, yeah. uh, Clifford's Miracle Shoes. And if Clifford's Miracle Shoes that. decides, you know what, we're not going to use the state, we can't deal with the unions, we can't deal with the rules, blah, 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 and we're going to go to Vietnam, right? Mm-hmm. And you're selling the shoes for, for $100 a pair. And then you go to Vietnam, and now your profit, <laughs> so now instead of paying $20 to have them manufactured, you're only paying $2 plus Buy. Another you, dollar for selling. You Do you think that thirteen dollars is going to be used to cut the cost of the shoes in America? No. Right. For, co- for two reasons. One is you got your stockholders, right. and and now here's where you say, "Do I support child labor?" And obviously, I, I don't consciously support child labor. But right. if I'm yeah, okay. part of a, a I, mutual I fund I that has a, a Clifford's shoe miracle shoe, miracle what shoe. do we call it? Clifford's miracle, miracle shoes. Shoes. Miracle what? Juice. juice. We make juice, not miracle shoes. Miracle juice shoes. This is an amazing juice. I thought you juice. made hair product. Well, now it's, it's, it's expanding. Yeah, yeah, we it's we expanding. put them in the shoes, so like it keeps your foot stuck to them for eternity. Like the Lil Nas X shoe with yeah. the blood in it? Can yeah. we just... Anyway, please go on. <laughs> well, but also, so, so if, I'm, if I'm, you know, I say, well, I'm going to buy... I, I, don't, I don't buy stock. I go to my, my, my retirement fund. Uh, I use TIAA, which I don't, you know, I don't know if you know, but that's just a mutual fund, and they buy the stocks, and they, they manage the money, and that's my retirement fund. Right. They need to maximize their returns so that I don't go to Clifford's Miracle Stock Management Company, right? right. So if they buy from your shoe company, I don't even know it. And if, if they're making money, I don't even look. Right. Which is sad. Right? So that's, that's, so yeah, I, I probably do support child labor. Good for you, man. That's great. But, uh, Listen, I'm just saying, I'll end it with this. If, if I, if I were, if I were the head of a, of a, like a shoe manufacturer and I had the choice to pay my workers minimum wage or like a walnut that I found off a tree, I'd, I'd choose the walnut option because I wouldn't have to, you know. What about profit. your morality? Well, as if I'm the head of this giant. Well, no, company, no, we I have a have problem. No we have a problem. Are you guys Excuse aware? Me. I don't know how much they teach in economics classes here. Are you aware that a corporation has the rights of a, of a human being in this country? That's true. Yeah. All right. And when the corporations were first formed, it, 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 the Boston Tea Party. What did they tell you about the Boston Tea Party? They don't tea. Um, Why? So. For tax. Yeah, they they that's what they like, tell you. But it was interesting. The Boston Tea Company was a corporation. The colonists, oh. the, 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 I mean, was actually most of the colonists didn't care one way or the other, but about 30% of the colonists who were, uh, were involved in this stuff were anti-corporate. Mm. All right? And what is a corporation? What does it mean? What is a corporation? You form a body, a legal body, that now oh, runs a business, and it separates you Owen Clifford from the corporation Owen Clifford Magic Juice. Right. right. Miracle, uh, miracle Juice. Miracle, I'm actually. sorry, Miracle Juice. I'm sorry. There's Am I going to get sued for that? Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you Jesus. are. Lawyer up. So now you're a corporation. You're CEO of a corporation. The corporation is a, is a body. It's a thing. And, and back actually back in the, uh, in, in the, when America was first formed, the corporation could only be formed if it, was for the, if it served the general good of the public. And it was a limited time. And if you, after that limited time, you had to reincorporate and reincorporate. That's not true anymore. A corporation now 
one of the powers of corporations, uh, listen, corporations do all kinds of wonderful things, but one of the powers of corporations is that it lives forever. You're going to die. Oh, wow. Sorry. That was blood. You're going to die. Wait, oh, come on. What's the theme of my class? That's true. Are we going to get die. existential gonna die. on this podcast? I said it from day one. I said you're going to die. Gonna right? die. We've that's gone the theme of class? before when I said yes. I wanted to run my father over the show. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead. That's, a, that's a, it's an inevitable. And part of the problem is if you know you're going to die, if you really internalize it, I actually think it's a good thing because you might behave differently than if you think you're going to live forever. Right. But, but true, corporations aren't going to die, number one. And corporations oh, have a publicly owned corporations, unfortunately or fortunately, depending on your point of view, have a primary obligation to the stockholders. Talk about public corporations. Public corporations, right. you buy ownership into the company, blah, blah, blah. And, my, and, the, and, the, and the corporation... The corporate's responsibility, the corporation's responsibility is to maximize profits. Now, this, you can debate whether it should be short-term, long-term, blah, 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 but the bottom line is to maximize profits. And if he wants to buy shoes... Miracle shoes. With the and he cares more about the image of the shoes, which is how this works in this culture anyway, right. yeah. he'll be willing to pay $100 for a pair of shoes that is that you can buy for 50 but doesn't have the name on it. Right. right. That's why Supreme is so successful. So, I'm sorry? Supreme. The, it's like a, the it's brand. Just a, it's literally just like a watermark. Tell me what Supreme is because oh. I've got the oh. Supreme, on Supreme the banana. banana. Supreme banana. <laughs> what is this? Supreme banana. I've heard about Supreme banana. No idea what it so is. it's basically like, like a... But like, they've infected me, obviously, because I've got it's, a banana It's just a brand. It's just a brand. They'll put a wall. They'll put Supreme on like a white t-shirt, and it's just thousands what of dollars. What did I sell? I thought it's, it was skateboard. They're really creating they, these they, designs to keep the product exciting. On the other hand, as we exciting. know, the law of supply and demand states that if there is a low supply and high demand, that's not... It's just a red it's square. It's just like a... They put it, they put it on they put, anything. They put the logo on a brick and sold it. No, the, yeah. the brick sold out hours after it was released on the digital market. You can't buy it anymore. You can't buy the Supreme Brick anymore. Uh, uh, Unless it's from a reseller. of your generation for that. uh, Mind you that my generation, when I was in high school, the hot thing was, I'm not making this up, you can Google it, Pet Rocks. Oh yeah, I have a Pet Rock. No you don't. I do, Gregory, he's in the basement. Excuse me? (laughs) Gregory, the Uh, Pet Rock. Google, it literally came in a box. I know. I have one. Oh, you yeah. They one. actually like, sold actual pet rocks. Gregory. It was, a real, yeah, yeah. it was a rock. Supreme rock. Supreme rock, yeah. <laughs> but they, they should do it. They I'm would tr- do it. I'm oh, trying to find cop? the word oh, for oh, what cop. Supreme. It's like... The question that started this whole brand was, how did you lose all of your hair? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> we're yeah. talking about... We haven't, like, talked about any of these questions at all. Yeah, let's... Uh, well, let's, let's get let's, to... Let's move on. I'm going to ask you just... This is just honesty. Complete honesty. Wait, wait. Complete honesty. Yes, yeah, we'll be damned. That's, but that's going to be my downfall. Can Again, you, we're within a school building, so yeah, it, we it's, might it's, have to repeat this innocent, question it's innocent, on the green. It's innocent, it's innocent. You guys want to see some fire? That's not a Supreme brand. Can I just this, 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 oh, this, 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 this photo has a story. Who's that? My, this is my brother. That's he your would, brother? Yeah, he was. He looks like Anthony Pignano. So he was 21 years old. Then he doesn't, doesn't at all. And he was just starting to go to NJIT, and he like was trying to get good at saving his money. And he bought the, he bought the hat. <laughs> he blew all his money on the hat. On the How much money hat. was that? Now hat? look at the hat. How much was that hat? You can't it even was see at least it. like so three hundred dollars. Like yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like like sixty three hundred dollars for a hat made by just, made by a child somewhere. For a walnut. Brazilian child, well, yeah. It's for two a, cents. A tra- it's like a iridescent hat. Oh no! Be, to be fair though, to be fair though, if you're in middle school and everybody else spent three hundred dollars for that hat and you didn't, are you ostracized? Probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Of and it's course. a terrible thing. Okay. It's a terrible thing. But you still don't buy it because then you're proving something to everybody else. You don't buy no, 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 the Supreme if you hat. Ha- no, no, if you are you, you obviously have been good at this. You've been doing it for a while. Right. Shopping okay. at Google no, 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 for shoes. And you've got a crew. What? No, you found each don't other. Don't associate me with this. No, 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 no. I, I, Whoa. I, I, my daughter. No, no. Excuse me. I thought oh. we were friends. Actually, oh, so you are. You clearly, you clearly enjoy each other's company. We don't. Yeah. What, what about all that porch time? What about all the porch time? We have cousin beef. Watch his, watch his, watch his, watch his pupils when he's... I hope you didn't put snot on this. I did. Watch yeah. his pupils when he says that. No, I, I, I know. You. That's... I that's oh, look, look. <laughs> clearly he's lying. That's the secret behind everybody. It's in their eyes. The dilation of their pupils. Well, no, that's you know the, what? That's I, the trick. If you ever play poker, be careful. That's why you wear the big money. No, 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 no. If in poker, if you see somebody's pupil dilate, you're right. It does signify excitement, but you can learn... To make your pupils. Does it really signify excitement? 
Oh yeah. The yeah, it does. Expands? Yeah, anything you can learn a lot of... about somebody from looking into their eyes. Yeah. Speaking of eyes. And when you fall in love with someone, <laughs> the, eye, the pupils do get bigger. When you, you, can, you can see if somebody. I've heard. Doctor, speak, speaking speaking of eyes, this is the question we, we've wanted to get out for a while. Now. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you, again, the same caveat. Yeah, so speaking uh, of eyes, do you find yourself getting lost in the piercing stare of Mr. Acton's blue eyes? <laughs> I didn't even know his eyes were blue. <laughs> oh, oh, no! I'm sorry. Say to his face. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, this is, uh, uh, this is t- totally personal, right. and it's probably going to mess up this podcast if it can possibly be messed up anymore. You know I'm deaf. Right. I don't look at eyes. I look at mouths. But, like, you're, even if you do look at mouths, your eyes will just be drawn I to can't. the magnificent, magnificent glory. They're so bright. They, they are so they bright. They really are very, like, they're, like, white almost. It's like a phone flashlight. Like, yes, just like blasting into like your eyes. Like the, like the, the kid I was like most the, scared of in high school had the steel, the crazy blue eyes. Does he have, I hate like, them. Like, yeah. They make look, me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I remember one time, so one time at a, at a family grill, my cousin mm-hmm. brought over her at-the-time boyfriend who had really piercing blue eyes and she kept on encouraging me to talk to him because she thought that the two of us would get along and i didn't want to say anything to him because he just kept like staring into like my a, like soul a different breed of human yeah like he, like he wasn't even a, like eyes. a human being Boy, look just... at your eyes i just noticed oh my god they're not blue <laughs> though or piercing oh, they're, they're, they're all piercing hey buddy my eyes are up here <laughs> i was looking at your eyes <laughs> i got that once in high school what but, but no, they, they, a beautiful they, girl, Desiree oh. Hoover, we like to see <laughs> we're good friends. No, no, no. And I read, I read read her lips, and she said, my the eyes are up time. here, not down here. And I'm like, damn it, I'm looking at your mouth. I mean, did you tell her that? Yeah, I did. Are you still in contact with Desiree? <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, my brother is, though. So, so. oh. oh. He stole your girl? <laughs> no, 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 no. Damn. No, he didn't steal it. Oh. He found, no, he found, I, I don't know, it's like through Facebook or something. That was 1975, for God's sake. That's, how old were you in 1975? I was uh, 16. Did she age well, though? I mean, we're alive. That's aging well. Are the eyes still you piercing? You know what I mean. You're alive. The eyes still <laughs> piercing. I'm telling you. We... His brother's uh, so shorty. Getting yeah. old is That's so sad. not for the week. It's yeah. not? No. Have you, do you think you've gotten more or less deaf as you've gotten older? Mm. I can only go one direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, with her, like... I will say this, though. I've had oh. better practice at being deaf, so I think I'm better at it than the people around me. And I, because I was deaf younger... I didn't listen to the loud music that other kids. I mean, I did sometimes, but I didn't. I knew I didn't like being. I, I didn't know. You don't know you're deaf. Like I don't know I'm colorblind, but I didn't talk until late, and 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 people thought I was. Uh, back then, they used the words mentally retarded. I guess now they say autistic. So, um, so I didn't talk. So once I once I, and I don't. I mean, I remember. I remember when they realized I was deaf, um, but once I. Learn how to talk, and, and I, I, I think I really appreciate what hearing I have because I know what I don't know what it is to have normal hearing, but I don't want to lose what I have. Right. It's isolating. You don't really think about it, but it's isolating. So I don't know if you're not, if you, if you, you walk by me in the street, if I'm not looking right at you and you say hello and I blow right by you, you know, mm-hmm. now, right, well, it's after 2.50, then I'm the asshole right. because, because I didn't respond to you. Oh, he's an asshole. He's a real asshole. He'll ignore you. He's an asshole. So, and that spreads around. So you get known as being aloof. Right. And so if you know anybody that's deaf, congenitally deaf, we're considered aloof. I want the next question. You've asked a question. So. It's, it's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very strange thing because, like, all of those kind of, like, I don't want to call it, like, a disability, but, like, all of those, like, impairments, I guess. All those impairments, like, they're a lot worse than you think they are because, yeah. because of situations like that. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't even have them. And this culture is cruel. They will pick on it once they find out. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's. Uh, I still don't talk right, but now I don't care. That's the that's the best thing I get know. You just don't. So like when someone says hello and you don't hear, you just like give them the middle finger. When when somebody walking. what? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> He's Never mind. Let's just move on. Okay. Anyways, um, being a ming bag. Do I have to ask? <laughs> yes. You can ask me. I don't have okay. to ask. Okay. What are your thoughts on the nuclear arming of third world nations? I didn't write that question. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird question because it makes it sound as though you know, one of the nuclear superpowers says, I'm going to arm you. Is the question, what do I think about them developing nuclear arms? Or is the question, do I think that Russia or the United States is secretly slipping 
nuclear bombs to Samoa. Up I didn't you, write the Up question. He Samoa wrote the Samoa. question. Samoa. So. Yeah, American Samoa. What are you, what are you yeah, talking about? Right. Oh, for God's sake, we, the bikini. You know why bikinis are called bikinis, right? No. Because like bombs, I'm assuming? Yeah, the bikini atoll is when we dropped an atomic bomb. Yeah, that's a... Like Nagasaki. I mean, it's a... Oh, don't get me started. Oh, what did, what did that have to... You stories about Nagasaki? <laughs> no, but... Uh, we can't ask. Who wrote these? No, no, it's... <laughs> have you seen the exhibit of the pictures after Nagasaki? Do you realize the amount of yeah. plutonium that gets converted to energy was, 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 was less than... Uh, the weight of a preemie baby. That little bit amount of mass turned into that mass. And you know that Nagasaki wasn't the primary target? It was to- Tokyo, right? It was too well, I don't, it's, it's, I've, it's, I've it's, seen these pictures This area before, was yeah. cloudy. This area is cloudy. Oh, well, let's just bomb this area instead. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that any of them should have been bombed, but it really had no strategic value. And, well, do you, do you think that, it's like an ethical question, do you think that they should have dropped the nuclear bomb? Or do you think it was necessary? No, it was, no this, this is a tough question to answer because the amount, the information you have and what they had then, it's not clear what people knew. Yeah. What we do know now, and what I think we knew then, is that the Japanese would not agree to give up their effort. Right? And in the history books, they tell you that the Japanese surrendered unconditionally after the second bomb. But they didn't, in the sense that they kept the emperor. So the question is, if we had come up with the same agreement before the nuclear, now, do I think Americans should have done a land invasion and lost hundreds of thousands, well, tens of thousands of Americans in a land invasion of Japan? Absolutely not. Would a blockade have been less cruel? Probably. Um, so it's, a, so it's, a, it's really tough historically to answer questions like that. Um, but if we knew, and this is one of the problems about not knowing other cultures, if we knew that the, if we had said we, uh, you can hold on to your emperor, that Japan would have resigned or, or, or conceded, then we wouldn't have to go through that. And the problem is, once you draw, once it's 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 one sad thing about history. Once somebody has a certain amount of power, like the atomic bomb, inevitably they use it. Yeah, isn't uh, it? Was it like the Japanese like wouldn't surrender, like at all? I think that's like their whole like shogun code thing. Well, that's a, that's a, so, but that's a, but then but then so the question. We don't, we'll never know the answer to that because they finally did surrender because we let them keep their emperor. Right. So, I, uh, it's, it's, listen, I, again, my first serious girlfriend, and history is weird because I didn't know, this is, this is 1975, 76. Her mother was from Japan. She was in Japan during the war. My next door neighbor was literally a Nazi German soldier oh. who was taken American prisoner. He was an anti-aircraft fire uh, he, he, in France. He was captain in France. And it's funny because, it's not funny, but he would say that he only shot at Russian planes. There were no Russian planes flying over France. So it was all American planes. And, and he was a great neighbor. He was great to my mom. He took care of her. Wasn't so good to the Jewish population, I'm assuming. Well, it's interesting. He, he was vehemently still in his heart. He believed, this is what's so scary, he believed in Nazism. He was clearly anti Semitic. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, this, I, don't, I hope I'm not wrecking your podcast by getting serious at moments like this. No, but my, we've been serious. But my, my wife's father's family was Jewish, uh, Bayern, German Jewish. Oh. Yeah. So, um, and again, this is probably too personal, but my kids aren't Catholic because this woman I met. She's beautiful. She's still beautiful. The smarter than, smartest woman I ever met. Oh. Smartest person. She's a wonderful human being. And I would have done anything. And she said, if we have kids, they can't be Catholic. Now, you have to understand, if you grow up Irish Catholic, Catholicism is part of your identity as Irish. Right. And I get you, brother. And I'm like, uh... I mean, first we had the discussion. <laughs> first we had the discussion of why... <laughs> and it's because of what happened. I didn't know enough of the history. I knew my, I, I know the Irish Catholic version of events, but I wasn't aware of, of how much more the Pope could have done during World War II. And a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people of Jewish faith, and, and it wasn't just Jews, I mean Catholics and, and gypsies, and uh, I can't use the word gypsies anymore, but, you know. Why? Why is that? It's, it's offensive. It's, it's offensive, offensive now. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. I thought it was like, 
Because they wouldn't make like my big fat gypsy wedding. What do you think the word gyp was offensive? Well, no, no it, that's, that's this is a recent thing. My mom's talking about some recent. What else growing up? It's growing up because my mom's was, record label is suede gypsy. Yes. Yes. My family, we, 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 do I look Irish? Not Irish. Not my not. We're, we're probably. We're from the west coast of Ireland, and, and there, may, there may well be traveler blood. Now in Ireland, the, we now know because of genetics that what we call, what the Europeans call, uh, the Romani or, or gypsies. But now, the, the travelers in Ireland, it turns out, they're not the same peoples, even though historically they think they are. Yes. So, but we say, uh, oh, I'm looking. That's fine. So, where do you think gypped came from? Gypped? I gypped somebody. Like I screw someone over? Yeah. Yeah. That's from gyp, the word gypsies. Yeah. So that's why, mm. you know, so that's why, that's why it's considered offensive, so. I mean, but when I was growing up, we, we said, my mom said, oh, we're from, she said, she, she said on her side of the family, she thought they were gypsies. And she used the word gypsies, but she wouldn't use the word gypsies. No, she wouldn't use any words now. She's dead. So I use words when you're dead, so. Okay, so sorry. Right. Right. No, she's, I'm old. Well, speaking of Catholicism. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, you no, segued it, it, great into this. It sound, it yeah, sounds, you're uh, really good at segues. segues. Yeah, you've, you've always you, been you, great It seems like that. you know the questions before it. I don't. Father, so, so, so viewers, so, uh, so, so. Father, please tell us oh, right. about your relationship to the Catholic Church. We've heard stories. I wanted to be a priest. That's it, yeah. Please tell us that, about that. I wanted to be a priest. Why? The worst, why well, first of all, my family, we had priests and nuns, and, and uh, it looked like a really good gig. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but no, because what you do, you celebrate a mass, you're taking care of the sick, and, and my, you have to understand, my family, uh, it was... We had riches and then we had poor and so there seemed to be a stability in the priesthood that I didn't have in childhood so that was number one uh, but number two it just seemed like a, I mean who do you look up to when you I, I, I don't know who's Catholic here are you Catholic? oh uh, point at the Irish guy right? yes I, I'm Whoa. I mean Catholic <laughs> do you go to mass? Uh, no I don't go to mass but like my mm. family is Irish Catholics. Okay, so so if you if you if you're second generation and your family's going to mass and this is what this is it's a it's an incredibly important part of the church of your of your fam of your childhood, not so so and priests were kind and you know, it's it's and again I had him in the family my my, my uh, uh, one of my my great uncles was a, a priest that had been on over for fifty years, mm-hmm. I went to his jubilee, my my mom and my dad divorced she never remarried because. She's, she's, I guess because she's Irish Catholic, so it, it, you don't get married. It's not the divorce so much as getting married a second time. Well, my great uncle Joe, who was born in the States, came up, and my mom was, was divorced. He came up, he comes up with a crucifix, crucifix, waves it in her face during the Jubilee with an Irish brogue saying something about we being damned because she's, she's divorced. Well, was, yeah. Joe. Yeah. But my Aunt Agnes was a, a nun, and she was cool as could be. Tell so, us I mean, so Part of it, is, since we had nuns and priests in the family, if you know them when they're not on duty, so to speak, they, they're, they're people. If, you don't, if people. you don't know them, if they're not in your family, you might say, like, nuns are scary. But if you know the nuns, at least the nuns in my family, they, they, were, they were pretty cool. Are they like the nuns that are like, in, like, portrayed in media, like, who are just like, when they're not on duty, they're constantly drinking and like, having parties and stuff? I, I, I wasn't invited to them. I was just a kid. So, uh, so, but but did my did my did my did my aunt Agnes drink? Yeah, she drank. Did the did the priest drink? Yeah, the, but again, but that's probably that's not a Catholic thing. That's what well, it is. But it's also an Irish thing. It's uh, and this is where we get in trouble because people aren't Irish. So, like, oh, you know, all you do is drink, drink, drink. But but but, but <laughs> drinking is part of the culture. Right. And uh, well, what the hell. <laughs> In an Irish family, if you don't drink, it means you're clearly an alcoholic. Yeah. Right. So the only people that don't drink, I don't mean it's people. Oh, do you drink? Gonna, of course. If he's if he's had drinks at dinner, etc., before he's eighteen, I wouldn't be shocked at all. Uh, when I was over there um, last time, one of my uncles, like, I the minute I arrived in his house, he took out two giant like pine glasses and started yeah. pouring yeah, alcohol. Yeah. Did you take a sip? No, because my mother took Illegal. it away. Like you can't do that. But no, you, it, it, it can. I mean, it's not unusual I for it. For bars. I did that too. I tried to order. <laughs> I tried to order a pint while in a pub. Like I went up, I was like, "Hey, uh, can I get a pint?" Was, I, this, was this before or after you met Rory? 
Did they? Ask this is after. You? No, because and then I because I, I would have it would have worked because my cousin who I was with in the pub he he looked like this just like me and age wise, and what 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 screwed me over was. I was pacing back and forth in oh, front no, of the bar. Oh, you just go to your table and sit. Because I was so seat. nervous. I, yeah, I, no, I, no, no, and no. then I went up like, hey, can I have a pint? He was like, get the hell out of my store. <laughs> he said it just so like you, that? So you went to Ireland and didn't have a drink? Oh, I did. Oh, I'm sorry, sure I did. No. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> Don't talk to me. <laughs> um, you guys are pretty good. We're so good. Yeah, you are really good. No, don't stop you this. I, this... It, well, uh, you're if, very good at this. If you don't know the point of the podcast, but we're trying to like interview as many faculty staff as possible. And, and you want to get as many people fired as possible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Just, just, to know the, just, to, just to know who the teachers actually are. Right? Yeah. Some yeah. of our favorite it teachers who they actually are. Well, well, I got to listen to actors. Well. Gotta, you do, well, you do, you, you do. do. Yeah. That, and it's also like, you know, a special like, guest? Like a memory. Do we have a yeah, it's just like we can look back and like, oh, we talked to Dr. Jordan. Like when, 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 when we're older. Dad, you can play this and say, oh, this is... Yeah, we'll show up, yeah, we'll show up to your yeah, funeral we'll and there. play this over like I'll, I'll show this to my grandkids. <laughs> we have a special guest here. Hey, I don't mean to interrupt. Oh, my goodness. I had a change of plans because we had a couple of cancellations. But so I'm not going up there. Oh. Um, so I don't know if you're thinking of going to the game or not. Well, I got I got yeah. a, I got a grandkid who's oh, got right. fever now and and some bloody jewels, so I'm gonna have to make a trip over there. Wow. So, okay. So I think like, it's okay. I think like it's probably fine. It's two years old. He probably jammed something in his mouth. But Carrie's flipping out. Right this now, is great. So she might not go to the concert tomorrow. <laughs> so so okay. these gentlemen yeah. are running a podcast where they interview people and they ask mm-hmm. very. Oh, that's what they're doing. You yeah. They're so you 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 ask him some questions. Please introduce yourself. Please follow us on SoundCloud. Mr. Afton's done it. Oh, so they said. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, and, Mr. and Mr. Scalari. And I, I don't know these two, but I know... And Clifford, Peter Pizzino. Clifford is, uh, just heads up, brilliant, but it's also be? crazy. So just be, you've been forewarned. Just me. Okay. okay. Clifford. I make juice. Miracle juice. What? <laughs> yeah, for your shoes juice. and hair. For shoes and hair. Miracle juice. Check it out. Yep. Click Clifford's here. Miracle Juice. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time to hang around now, but uh, certainly something. Oh, so, this should be your next interview. Yeah, yeah if you want to be on, we could schedule something. Pete? Yeah, please email Am us. Am I allowed to talk about you at all? Post yeah, stuff. He, he manages bands. He oh, manages you. Yeah. Once upon a time. Like Metallica? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go that high. Not quite like Metallica. No, I managed a, a bar band. Fifty years ago. That's cool. And he was. Oh, um, no, I was going to super flow. Though. When he yeah. was, he, he had a bookstore in Bloomfield. And oh, Carney. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, we definitely have to have you. Oh no, he had the coolest bookstore in, in Bloomfield. It didn't oh. until the building <laughs> got condemned. The <laughs> Did you guys know each other before? You I started knew teaching? of the bookstore. The I'd been in there, condemned. but I didn't know. I had no idea who he was. The building got condemned. Well, there was a construction accident, and the building cracked. Oh. oh. And. Uh, can't occupy a cracked building. Yeah, that's true. I do. What happened to all the books? <laughs> Where'd all the books go? They evacuated. Oh, that's a great oh, story. I about the moving. Well, when you in, when you interview okay, me, yeah. I'll be glad to tell you. Right, 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 right. More than more we than can't, we can't we can't give away too much. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. Spoilers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a he's, he's he's a fun. He'd be a great interview. We'll have him on. We'll definitely have him on. He definitely seems like a treat. Yeah. He's a ride. He seems like a ride. But he's an engineer, of course. <laughs> and uh, he's done a variety of things. Yes. Right. So the next um, question: thoughts on the IRA? I, I think I know who wrote that one. You that mean the the, the, the original Irish Republican Army? Do you mean the retirement funds? Do you mean the the, the ones in the nineties with the troubles? Which IRA are you talking look, about? Look it it just says IRA. I didn't write it. Luke wrote it. Oh. All of them, just Luke generic. I mean, I do have a story about the IRA. Right it's it's. I was in London. He wants to be um, on the cast. When the Tower of London was... He'll was, never be on the cast. When the Tower of London was bombed... <laughs> and to be four him. kids were killed. Oh. Uh, and, and tri- <laughs> That's not funny. No, it, it's, it's very confusing. because My grandmother and my, my... My grandfather was born in 1898. Um, wow. Ran away from home. Ended up joining the British Army because he... It, 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 I'll tell you, it was the biggest mistake of his life. Got shot in the back of the neck because he said, I'll be damned if I get shot in the front because I was always running. Literally would throw his gun away because he could run fast. There's all kinds of stories. But, but the IRA was a, the Irish Republican Army. And by the way, today's uh, James Connolly was a... Uh, right. Yeah, so, so Irish... See, that's the thing about the Irish. You just said James Connolly. Yeah, right? yeah, oh, God, they're first. British. Yeah, they're, yeah. First. I mean, wow, that's crazy. But people don't understand about my the family. boy James. But we don't understand... That, that one, hey, <laughs> that's, hey, one hey. Of the, that's one of the problems is that the, 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 the Irish don't forget anything and the British don't remember anything. Um... 
<laughs> but the, the families were starving in Ireland with plenty of food around. That's what people don't understand. And they died as the potato famine, not because there wasn't any food around, but because the food that wasn't potatoes went to the British. To the, so, so um, we, I, mean, I don't remember what we, Oh, IRA. So, so if you ask about the IRA in 1919, the, the, these men were fascinating. We have, their histories are fascinating. Their stories are fascinating. These were, these were uh, regular middle class people doing an absolutely ridiculous, stupid rebellion, taking on the, the British in Dublin and getting shot and being imprisoned. And, and so, um, so there's that IRA. But then you go to the later IRA, and it had the same name, so you got people like my grandmother who were confused. And then so when, when the Tower of London was bombed, I said, Grandma, and, and typically the Irish, I shouldn't say the Irish, the IRA would give a warning ahead of time. Um, and then so, 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 I don't know if there was a warning for that one or not. I don't know if the warning didn't go through, but four kids died. And my grandmother, I said, Grandma, I said, you know, how can you support this group? They killed four kids. She <laughs> says, son, she says, kittens grow up to be cats. Oh, what? Yeah, oh, that's right, Sorry. yeah, so. What? Oh. Um, that's uh yeah it's uh, like can we have a and then the bible said there. i don't know ask it, ask it, ask it, i don't know if your grandparents are alive but ask them what they thought about the whole bobby sands thing bobby sands uh was a and again either a, a comic criminal or political criminal depending on who you political person depending on how you which side of the troubles you are and bobby sands starved himself to death in prison it took a long time and it was very public and even among the irish it was like and I'm not Irish, Irish, I'm Irish American, but even when I'm Irish, what is he doing? And at the time, I'm thinking, God, this is a stupid, stupid, stupid way to die. But Bobby Sands' death actually helped lead to the resolution of this whole thing. So it's, it's a tough, tough, I mean, if you know the history, I don't know how you fix it. And they did, they did fix it. But that actual vote, uh, it, this, is a, this is a silly, I'm, I'm blanking on the name of this, uh, Dairy, dairy girls. Have you dairy seen girls, them? yeah, it's dairy girls. It's great because they capture, yeah, they capture the feel, and and there was actually even some sympathy to the British soldiers at the time because you know, you're 19, you're a British soldier, you're in the middle of it, you don't even understand. Right, yeah. Um, they also had gypsies in that show. That's right. They had gypsies in that show too. You can't say they, that. They did. They called. I think they called them travelers. Travel, that's yeah. what they're called. Yeah. yeah, they're called travelers now. Um, well, no, and it's interesting because the travelers, we look, my, my family, part of my family looks like the travelers. So, so, but my Auntie Beth, so that might not be true though, because my Auntie Beth went and got her DNA. Don't do this because if you have any criminals in the family, I have screwed. criminals in the family. Yeah, uh, most families. Yay. I have many criminals in the family. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, Why are you so excited about that? that? One of my, my like, great uncles was like some hitman for the Irish Mafia. What, and he you, killed like, he was on the, you know, the show Mobsters? Yeah. He was, he was Mad Dog Sullivan. He was on that. Wow. Yeah, he was on Mobsters. We, 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 aim, we aim high. We, aim. we do, though. <laughs> and then also, this actually leads to the next question. Oh, right. Wait, wait, I remember this question. I had, say, say, Google, this happened in class. I probably talked too much about Catholicism in class. It's, it has, Oliver Plunkett was a blessed until 1975. And if, if you're not Catholic, the blessed are they're basically priest and then Oliver they get Plunkett sanctified. And he got sanctified in 1975. So he's, he, Plunkett is part of my, my family, we're Plunkett's. You're Plunkett's? Yeah, we're Plunkett's. we have Sullivan's too. My, great, my aunt, aunt Agnes, you remember, she was a, a nun. She was uh, invited to the Vatican for the, when he got uh, um, sanctified, became a saint. And we knew about Blessed Oliver Plunkett growing up, but we, uh, this is terrible. But I think the only reason he got sainthood as early as he did is because the Catholicism was kind of falling by the wayside. So they... I think 1975, you can Google it, double check it, I could be well wrong, but there was a lot of saints sanctified in 1975, and I think it was just to get more Irish or back into the fold, yeah. so to speak. Um, but anyway, if you're not Catholic, you might not know this, but Catholics take their saints and they take pieces of their bodies, their heads, their fingers, whatever, they're called relics, and they put them in churches, and you can go see the relics of like, the saints. So sure. one of our right. students, I won't mention his name, um, but his first name is Irish. I'm not so sure about the last name. And he's, he's Googling. He said, oh, he looks terrible. Because he's looking at the head of my great, 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 great uncle, Oliver Plunkett. All right. And this is why I probably crossed the line. I said, well, Liam, you're going to look like that someday, too. And I probably shouldn't have said his name. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I know who you're talking about. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> So. Do you really know though? Yeah, Liam is just a, a, an Irish name I picked. Uh, I meant, meant to say Eamon. Right. Right. Liam, right. if you're listening, we're not talking about you. Liam, this is not for you. Ignore. Uh-huh. Liam, go away. Well, no, it was happening. <laughs> it's still only it five bucks. It by wasn't the way. a secret. Just, you don't know Liam. I do know Liam like that. Uh, shut up. Funny. I know Liam like Be that. Be quiet. That's a lot Excuse of money. You. Five dollars. That's not nice. Ooh. This podcast is over. Oh. Oh. Not invited to my birthday anymore. Oh. So, what's your best doctor story? <laughs> <laughs> the saddest, the funniest. I mean, this. If you choose, first thing that comes to your mind that is like that stands out as, as story roulette. Your doctor story that you go, your go-to doctor story. Well, the worst stuff you don't, you don't. The public doesn't see. Right. There's a lot. I mean, as a pediatrician, there's a lot of sad stuff out there. I mean, I remember you said last year you like operated, or not operated, but like something to do with like Biggie Smalls. The, oh, the, I can't. Yeah, it, it's, I I took care of Biggie. Smalls. Well, he was already dead, but I took care of his uh, his child. Um, but um, what? we had a. This was sad, and I don't know what to do about it. There was a oh baby, uh, conjoined twins, that had two heads. Let's do funniest. Please, that's your funniest. Yeah, no, that was sad. What, what, what do you do with that? What kind of decision? What kind of one heart? Oh, so you but cho- one heart can't support the two to, heads. You have to choose which. Oh, we ended up letting the baby die. Oh. Babies, mm. babies. There's two babies. Wow. But one body, one heart. And that's stuff people don't talk about. This baby's born without brains. They live for a day or two. You know. Anyway, and now with the new laws in some states, they have the mothers who have to carry these babies, even though you know they're not going to live more than a few days after they're born. It's just uh, terrible. It's, uh, it's very, yeah, it's very funny. Uh, yeah. Let's just stop. Oh, you don't have to cry. I'm not crying. Uh, so funny. I guess you want to go too. I think maybe let's, let's just get to the topic. next. Yeah, yeah next stop. question. I mean, I could, I could, I could come Sports? up. Sports. What? Sports? Sports. It I wanted to, I wanted to be a priest. The thing I wanted to be was a, the other, other thing I wanted to be was a professional uh, hockey player. For what team? Hockey. Team? The Toronto based team? The, the, the Toronto Back Blue then. Days? No, Come back on. then. No, 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 Did no. You back live in then. Toronto? Come on. I grew, I grew up in the, in the 60s. If, if you live in this area, who's the yeah. team you root for in the 60s? There was only there weren't very many teams back then. Yeah. What the, team? The Rangers. Are you Jean Rangers. Do you still want to play for the Rangers? Uh, they do hire old people to play, so. It's, it's, you uh, should you should join. So no, how I, do you feel about them losing? Doyle. Well, well I'm a I'm, I I I'm, I'm a Devils fan now. I have been. How do you feel about them losing? They're young. They're fun to watch. That was cool. You know, I, when my grandfather, when I was a kid, my grandfather would watch baseball, and he'd root, he, 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 you know, he's from he rooted for the Pirates. He's from Pittsburgh, but he didn't. He loved to watch good games, and I didn't understand. I said, "How the hell can you watch a game?" And, and enjoy a game where your team didn't win. And as you get older and you see what these kids can do on the ice, not that I was ever close to it, but I'm so far away from it now, and you watch them, you watch them skate. I mean, I, I got to go to the game, uh, the third game, and it was a good game to go to. But just to see Luke, it was Luke Hughes' first playoff, it's only his third game as a devil, to watch that man skate. And my son turned to me, and my son, is, he's 36 years old now, 37, I don't know, somewhere around there. And he's... He said he would. He's right. He said I would pay just to watch these guys skate, without sticks and pucks, just to watch them skate. So, I mean, it's it's, and that's the thing. Not his girlfriend. His my son's serious girlfriend. They, they, they've been living together for three years now. Does anybody get married anymore? I don't know. Uh, do they? I don't know. I don't know. So so. My cousin's getting But she's a Rangers fan. Months. So it's so weird because the only reason I became a Devils fan is because when I when I took my kids to hockey games when they were little, when the Devils first came here, you go to a game, it was all mothers and little kids. And nobody knew the game. And you go to a garden, that's a game. You go to, now, I mean, Devils fans know the game now, but back then it was, it was mostly suburban moms. I'm probably getting trouble for saying that, too. And so I brought my daughter, she was four. You just trouble for saying anything. And she, I, I, my daughter wanted to pee. I just turned around to find a mom. So take it. it was great, and I'm explaining the game. And the Devils absolutely <laughs> sucked then. It's just random strangers. And the Rangers were pretty good. Go but the Devils played harder than the Rangers. <laughs> right. And so my kids fell in love with the devil. And when I was in medicine, the devils came to visit the kids at Children's Hospital. Now, I'm sure the Rangers were doing it in New York, but they didn't come to New Jersey. 
So the devils would come. They were kind. They were good. And they, they did everything they could to get involved. And then the devils got better and better. Um, and so my, my, kids, my kids were at the game when my toe scored that overtime goal. Game, sixth game of the series, I think. I don't know, 92, 96, I don't remember. When, but, but I was outside because I let them have the tickets because I'm a good dad. Mm. We got two tickets and I'm sitting out in the car as well. But uh, no, this is the game I went to. This is the first, this is the first playoff game, hockey game I've ever been to. My kids have been to a whole bunch. It was a big win, right? It was huge. I mean, and the ultimate didn't matter, but it was, it was a, it was a fun win. Right. But why, why? Uh, if you're watching VTech in the game, he was having a terrible night. He had allowed four goals and four goal posts, and he wasn't even, he wasn't seeing the puck. So I don't understand why they put him in the next game. And I don't know why, and, and humans are funny. I mean, are you play, do you play sports? I do. Okay, so you know that some oh, days... I actually played hockey. Oh, so, okay, yeah. I, play, I played hockey. He's a great skater. No, I played hockey. I, I just, Facebook is such a wonderful thing. Carl Bromwich, no, I, I've talked about him in class. I said, I was a center. All I had to do was crash towards the goal, and I, I knew the puck would end up on my step. Carl Bromwich grew up in Canada. He moved to the States um, in high school, maybe a little before that. So he was my, he was a winner. And as an American... I couldn't understand why points, you know, the assists counted the same as goals. Americans like, oh, I almost said a bad word again. I've got to remember what I am. I said, screw that. You know, I got the goal. But when you play with somebody who is really good, and if I knew if I crashed at a goal, and I had pretty good reflexes, I knew. I didn't have to think or anything. We played together for, for a few years. I knew the puck was going to end up in my stick. And then when you do that, and you... And you know that there's cheap goals. If you, if you, if you, and I, I wasn't a great skater, but I was a pretty good skater. If you could skate and you knew that the puck was going to right up in your step at the right moment, you shouldn't even get credit for the goal because right. you didn't do. The, he does all the work. So, no, so Carl Bromwich, out of the blue, on Facebook, wow, you're the best center I ever had, or something to that effect. I'm like, you know, is it because you, you get older and say, what did it really happen? For God's sake, that was 1976, 77. Wow. Actually, that's a that's a brilliant point because I've been thinking about this a lot recently. Like, when you get old, like this interview, I won't remember, you know? Like, right. well, I won't remember doing this interview. Like, this, what effect does that have on you? Like, looking so, back to right, so Did the lights just turn off in the hallway? This is... Yes. I've never seen that. That was Sorry. a scary sight. This, this is a, this <laughs> is a problem with today. When I was your age, it wasn't recorded. So the stories depended on talking to people, and, and the stories, otherwise it wouldn't survive, and the stories change but they're probably and again this isn't Irish and they, they, they don't let don't ever let the truth get in the way of a good story or right. don't ever let a story get in the way of the truth so what if you if you so if Carl and I maintain contact over the years and we did I, I, we hitchhiked across Europe together right after high school what yeah you're gonna yeah. tell us about that I have to tell you one thing about it. Carl Bromwich who was a doctor he, he, in, in Canada. He went back to Canada. This is the weirdest thing. My best friend, all right? I didn't know till years later when he, he came out. He married a woman, but she was gay. He, said, he says, nobody's business. I want kids. She wanted kids. But he came out. He writes this letter to all his friends, and he writes it to me, and he says, but you already knew, of course. I hitchhiked with this guy around Europe. I had no clue. All I knew, Carl was handsome as a devil. And so, are you sure you? His girls, girls, girls out, would she fall over. Girls would fall over him. Oh, you, you, you would, you would, you, you would think he was handsome too. <clears throat> girls would fall all over him. <laughs> this is terrible. This is not so sexy. <laughs> I would get, his, I would get, his, I would get his leftovers. Oh my god! But his leftovers were gorgeous. So it was, <laughs> oh what? God. So you got leftovers. So so no. Doyle so was so down so bad. Double, if, it, if you wanted to in double, Europe. if you wanted, no, no, <laughs> no, not in Europe. No, 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 no. We're talking about no, no. That's, I'm overstating. But Carl, 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 um, Carl was a uh, very great hockey player, very, you know, macho, and I had no fucking idea. My next door neighbor, the, 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 the Nazi, uh, right. yeah, Nazi, his guy. son, right. his son was gay. And the, the woman I mentioned in my very first series, girlfriend, also ultimately what? married a woman. You, you so just, I, have, I have the worst skater in the what? whole history of this guy. I had no idea any of them. Well, no, wow. Richard, Richard, the kid who lived next door, I had an idea he might be gay. He, but, 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 but Carl had no idea, and Robin had no idea. You attract a certain crowd, I guess. I know, it's kind of... He's just like that. You can tell us, Dr. Joya. 
No, I have, I have no idea. I mean, I think, I think, I think, I think. Oh, oh no, I'm not gay. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. If you're curious, no, I'm not. I mean, it doesn't matter what I am or not. I don't, I don't he care. No, 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 no. But, but I think it's. I think I hope it meant that people felt safe. Right, right. So I don't know. That's exactly what that means. So, but it's also interesting that I'm that I'm that blind because. They felt safe enough to, to, to think that I knew that they were... I, I mean, Carl maybe, just assumed that I knew that he was gay. Maybe they told you and you just didn't hear it because you weren't looking at that's the That's quite room. possible. Ooh, wow. No, 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 but that's actually... Wow. That's, that's quite deep, possible. Deep. It's not that deep. It's very deep. It's, it's very deep thought. Deep. But I don't think... I don't think... I don't think... I don't think a 17-year-old boy would tell another 17-year-old boy in 1977. Also, I don't think they gay. just let it be if you just didn't say anything back to them after they told you. If you just completely ignore that. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that's so... I, I mean... <laughs> He never made a pass at me, so I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, I know if you're in high school and you're with the same people, and you're, I mean, literally bunking together that, in hostels. You lived in a dorm in high school? Okay. No, well, I, no, no. After when when we went to Europe. What country, oh, what country right, did right, you visit right, when you were right. hitchhiking? Just just France and Belgium and just, uh, Netherlands right. and England. Just Belgium and France. Well, no, 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 yeah, no. Places that we'll probably never you, go when, to in when, our lives. Have you been to Europe? It's the, that's the way. It's like going to states over there. They're they're, they're so close together. You just, especially because you know, yeah, like, like the whole like EU thing. Well, now, uh, oh my God, like, now these super. Yeah. It's basically just like going to New York, right? Yeah. Well, I was poor. My my folks were divorced, but my dad was an airline pilot, so we didn't have the money because of the divorce. But I had the the the, 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 the pass. Yeah, yeah. So I could travel. I could travel on standby anywhere Lucky. I wanted. So you know that, that was. That was Fifty-six minutes. I don't know. So that was that's one was, of the longest interviews we've done. No, so, no, no, really? When would this old man shut up? <laughs> no. Yeah. Right. We want this. No, it's good. Yeah, we're never having you back on ever well, again. If you though. edit it, I hope you. We do. are not editing. We don't no. edit. Like I said, it's no, wrong. We no, edited one. Right. So that was with Brian. That was, this over clear. I was talking about Eamon. I meant oh, to right. say Owen. <laughs> what? Owen. Owen. Michael. You gotta edit that. Oh, in. you know how you know he's Irish. Huh? The sp- the, the Big spell- Irish head. The spelling, the spelling of your first name. That's oh, true. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, means it still true. matters to this family. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, God. What do you mean it still matters? It's not the usual one. Yeah. No. Well, I got like my No, entire- no, that's a great question. That's a great question. Um, here's the thing. When I don't know when your family came over, but, but my, my great-grandfather would come back and forth, and, and he's a bricklayer, and he'd make the money and go back. And then my grandfather came after... Uh, after the war, and ended up staying, um, because we were considered. This is very dangerous territory. This is very dangerous territory. I am not going to mm-hmm. say that the Irish ships were. You, you can't equate that with with uh, enslaving other peoples. But um, when you uh, and you can't equate the, the Irish experience has nothing. The, the, the black experience in America is, is is obviously a totally different story. Although the Irish like to conflate the two because it makes us feel like you know, right. you know we, we went through it too. So I don't want to, but I don't want to minimize what the what the what the uh, um, the Irish uh, went through. Um, but but they were considered. They weren't considered white, for a time. Right. But clearly, we could sneak by. But the thing about the, I mean, you look at, obviously, Irish, you look, right? Wow. At least part of you Very is detectable. Irish. So, mm. so, but, so, I they're dark. not, a, they weren't, but they were still white, but they weren't white, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, so, you say the but I the point of the whole story, so a lot of Irish families went out of their way not to be Irish. Yeah. I mean, you had the pigsty Irish, hello, yeah. and you had the, the, the lace curtain Irish, which, and so, so. Now, it did help in the cities, anyway. I was actually thinking about this on the way this morning. We, we didn't help. If you know somebody else who's Irish, this doesn't apply to grades, I don't think. I won't, we would never say it. But if somebody else is Irish, everything else being equal, you do them a favor. If you're applying for a job and you're applying for a job, are you Irish? No. no. Yeah, he's 100%. Look at him. So, oh, so he gets right. the nod. He gets the nod over you. That's not right. But that's why you wonder why there's so many Irish policemen, right. and the mayors. And it, it wasn't an accident. It was they weren't saying I'm going to take the best candidate. They're going to say, Oh, O'Connor, okay, you're on the force. Yeah. Um, but that's because it works because of the shared stories and the shared histories. And everybody who's Irish grows up with the stories of, of famine and, and what the British do. My father, when he was, and he, he uh, I told you, an airline pilot, 
And when he was in East, uh, I don't think it was Paris, but he, he's, his plane hit a bunch of uh, geese and had to turn around and come back. And the BBC went to interview him. And he, and he says, it's the weirdest thing. They put the microphone up to him, and the first words out of his mouth was England get out of, get out of, or he may have said like the Brits get out of, out of uh, Ireland. And he said he's immediately he was embarrassed that he said it. So I'm like, that's so Irish. First to say it without thinking, yeah. and then to be, I almost said a bad word again. Irish, the, F, the F thing. Uh, the, the F thing. The F O O K I N. It's like, it's like, F-O-O-K-I-N. It's like part of our innate language. It's, 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 it's what we say. If you pick style, which I'm proud of. Um, Right. So, but the, 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 the one thing is to blurt it out. It had nothing to do with anything. And then to be ashamed by it. So do one or the other. Either blurt it out and be proud of it, or just, you know. It's, yeah. it's, uh, well, there's like a, a lot of, uh, like, immigrants in this country. Like, when they first came over, especially back then, like, it, it, like it, I mean, of course, it varied from, like, race to race. But, like, it all depended on how fast you could assimilate. Like well, the, it helps the, if you're white. Yeah, that's true. If your skin is pale. Right. Right. Like, the Italians, like, they were... They came over and they like assimilated right away because they started building businesses, stuff like that. Yeah. The Irish didn't do that, and that's why people started. That added on to the fact that like the English already showed up and gave this persona of the Irish to the Americans already that they were like these. Right, and, and some of it, some of the persona is earned. I mean, we are superstitious people, and I have nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you, God help, if you're ever out in a country, I don't care what country, if you're out in a countryside yeah. by yourself at night for a few weeks alone, you'll be believing in a lot of things that you swear don't exist now. Like when you were hitchhiking? There's goat men out in them woods. No, hitchhiking, we, we had, no, we, I don't Virginia. know if they still have them. There's, there's something Big called uh, hostels. They, they yeah, have a hostel yeah, card. Yeah, yeah, and you just go from hostel to hostel for nothing. I mean, it being paid something. If you want a shower, you had to pay another 25 cents. If you want a towel, they charge. But it was so cheap. Yeah. And the, 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 <laughs> we were getting to Amsterdam, and the hostels were all full, so we ended up in the... In the I was scared that night. I shouldn't have been. We ended up in a red light district, and we found this flop house, and Carl and I then. And, and I don't know if you know, when you, when you go to hostels, they throw you out during the day. You, you have your backpack, and, and so you're out, and you only can be there for a So we get in there, and this guy is opening letters with this knife. Oh. Now, I don't know why, but I was like, you know, this, I just didn't have a, a, a good feeling. In, in, in Amsterdam, the red light district is illegal. Prostitution is legal. Right. Drugs, when we got to Amsterdam, you have to be careful because Amsterdam, everything's legal, but outside of, outside of Amsterdam, the Netherlands is extremely conservative. So you have to be really careful. If you, do, if you guys ever travel, and I'm not into that stuff. I never was. And I'm not, it's not because of any special, no, especially yeah. about prostitution. I wouldn't, I'm, Irish Catholic, are you kidding? I'd be embarrassed. So, so, so but the drugs, the drugs is... is, is but the drugs. No, no, no. I like beer. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. I tried marijuana twice when I was a kid. I got incredibly paranoid both times. It must be genetic. My mom, it was the 60s. It was different, 60s and 70s. We had a stash. My poor buddy. <laughs> I found it one time. We're going to get arrested. Put it away. Um, but my parents didn't, my dad, had, my, 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 my parents didn't smoke. Because they liked alcohol better than, but you had it around to offer people because yeah, that yeah. was the '60s. It was still very crazy illegal. But if you were, you know, if you were white, you could smoke it. If you were black, you couldn't. It's it's it's. Yeah. yeah. I think half the reason it was illegal is because it was it was Absolutely. associated with with people of color. Absolutely. Yeah. So you know, because alcohol, I'm not. I don't. You can't outlaw it because it's too easy to make. But alcohol is incredibly destructive, especially if you have people that don't have a culture that, I, 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 I wanted to use the word Irish honor alcohol. Now, there are so many bloody alcoholics in Ireland and Irish families and so many awful, awful stories. But at least you have some, some rules. It was opposed to if you don't drink at all, if they suppose you come from a family that doesn't drink at all, and they go to college and now you drink, and you just, and, 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 yeah, and you're you drinking. Don't know when to stop. Yeah, I mean, I always joke about St. Patty's Day. It's amateur day because people go out to just get drunk. I mean, that's just stupid. Why would you go, why would you drink to get drunk? Now, if you're trying to forget something, or if it's an Irish wedding, that's a whole different story. That's the thing about the Irish. Do you drink? No. But when you ask them Irish if they drink, they mean, they think of Irish wedding drunk. Yeah. That's, that's drinking. 
But a beer or two a day is not, it's not they, they don't even consider it, it's not drinking, it's just, you know. And the pubs, the pubs, the pubs are family places. They're not bars, they're family. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Any more questions? Yeah, that was a whole right. Irish friend. Um, we just, so, uh, we just. <laughs> Our next question is, uh, were you in an iron lung? Was I ever? Damn, who, who wrote, wrote that? Who wrote that? Leo, Leo. did you write been, that? I've never been on this doctor. You don't have to answer that. No, no, the question is, have I ever been in one? Yeah. No, I haven't. I've been in an iron lung. I don't know one of, the, one of them wrote it. No, but it's a... You're disgusting. No, no. I've never seen this doctor before. Do you know what an iron lung was? This one, the yeah, it's like the, the, when you're polio, you're temporarily yeah, paralysis. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, ignore, ignore his nonsense. Right. It's I, a, I, no, it's, it's, a fair, lung it's an interesting question because it brings up, it, it, the next thing is, why are they asking me that? It's an interesting question. I don't know how that question got in the document. We'll talk I to our swear producers. To God. I, I, it's not me. Brian McCullough, our producer. It's probably oh, Brian. probably. Anyways. How many people are in this group? It's just us three. Oh. It's just us three, but no, some we have a huge production team. Yeah, we right. a, we, there's like people with microphones in the ceiling. Mm -hmm. There's shadows. We have producers outside. The there's live editing going on. We have a bus driver that takes us to and from our interview location. <laughs> yeah, what's his right. name? Uh, Marcellus. Lens. Marcellus, right, right. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. A bus driver from to and from our location, <laughs> which is. We go outside, <laughs> he drives us around the block, and he brings us back when we walk in. Mm -hmm. right. He's a treat. <sighs> Anyways. Um, He's a treat. That's our last question of the podcast. Right, right, right. So. Right. Among the many stories, many great stories we've heard about you whispered throughout the halls of the school. The one, the one that interests me is is the one about your concussion. What? Which one? Oh, what do you uh, mean? Oh, I've had multiple concussions. Please tell us. Well, no, I mean it's a, it's, it was different then. I didn't think much about it. But the one, the, the one, the, the big one was the ninth grade one when when somebody grabbed the back of my sled, oh. and. Uh, I went head first into a fence post. Oh my! And uh, but no, it, it, it sounds awful, but it's not because you don't know. We'll you're, pray you're, for you. you're unconscious. We'll pray for you. So what happened? What happened is my dog. What, what, uh, when I woke up, I was so confused. I was, you're sledding down a hill. Mind you, no, not mind your own business. You're being an idiot. And then next thing you know, you, you wake up. You're, you're looking up, and there's all these people, and you're wondering how the hell did all these people get here so quickly? Where did they come from? <laughs> well, it turns out, and nobody's helping me. Turns out my dog, who was a a, a, a poorly and, and a relatively tame dog went vicious on anybody that went near me. So then I, and you're loopy, and I don't know how long I was out. People say five to ten minutes, but it may have been shorter than that because people, time seems a lot longer when somebody's out. And my mom's not home, but my grandmother's home. And I didn't want to freak out my grandmother. So apparently I crawled into a car because it's cold and slept for a while and then finally went home. And again, I don't remember the details so much, but apparently my grandmother, what did the Irish do for everything to fix everything? Whiskey. So, of course, grandma gives me some whiskey. And now my mom finally gets home and not only am I concussed, I'm, I wouldn't say drunk, but I mean, Buzz? I don't know. So, so and I don't remember, I don't remember. It's, it's interesting. No, I don't think she gave, Absolutely. I don't know how much she, I don't know. I imagine she you were I don't unconscious. Remember. You, while Sunday. you were unconscious, they were just feeding you left and right. Seriously. No, 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 no. I, mean, I guess that she probably put it in tea. I don't know. She drank tea all the time. Um, and I don't remember. I, I, I remember eighth grade a bit. I remember tenth grade, but ninth grade is, is such a blur. It's just weird. Because you were concussed. And my grades were. My grades. I couldn't. I, you can't read after you. You ever, right. you ever hear the story of that girl who got concussed? And, like, she wakes up every day thinking it's the same day. Oh, that's got to be the worst injury. Yeah. So she had more than a concussion then. Because a concussion, the, the oh, definition of a concussion, like there's, no, there's, there's no definable damage to the brain. I mean, obviously, there's some damage. Um, but, no, I got concussed all the time. I, I, I fell out of a tree it's when I was like four. I, 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 I swung, uh, a swing broke. I got, I got concussed when I got hit with a baseball one time. But oh, the thing, it's like people a bruiser, a paper no, okay. well, Yeah, exactly. My, 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 I played soccer, too. My goalie in practice. Head first into the post. Out for two minutes. Oh my god. Out for two minutes. How are you alive? When he wakes up, you give him some you give him some water. <laughs> and some whiskey. And you're playing again. And they, uh, oh, it's just we were stupid. Yeah, we you didn't walk know it off. anything. You walk off your concussion. Rub some dirt on that concussion. <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's exactly yeah. Don't no, don't rub it. Don't touch it. That's, that's, it was, wow. So it was That's great. You're was, a legend. You're a legend. And I'm partly Truly. part of it was that, you know, I, it was a different time, but also I I was when you're absolutely out of your effing mind growing up, 
you don't realize it until you see the stories looking yeah. back. I mean, I gave, I was in a shovel fight when I was a kid. What? I got in a shovel fight the on the docks. Shovel fight? What, do you, how, what? what does that no, but mean? I mean like actually, no, no, we, in, on the docks. And so it's, it's uh, we, we had a ship. I used to, you, you most of the ships had scrap metal and the little metal turnings, which is amazing because it gets really hot as it was. You just had and so they called me and said, well, we have another ship. It was a different part of the docks. And I said, it's vermiculite. I'm like, what's vermiculite? They said, it's this light stuff. I'm like, oh, great, vermiculite. It's not, it's not steel. So said, sure, I'll, I'll sign up for overtime. Not that you have a whole lot of choice. And I get there. Well, there's a special vermiculite shovel that's about the size of Kansas. So they, 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 uh, they lower you into the hold. And your job, you don't shovel the vermiculite out of the, out of the ship, but the, the, the crane has the bucket. But in the corners, the bucket can't get to the corners. So your job is to keep shoveling towards the bucket. And then if, if the, when it gets low enough, you shovel the stuff into the bucket. So anyway, the, we're back on the deck. I don't know why. I don't know if we're taking a break or what happened. But it's around 1 o'clock. And one of the new guys, one of the guys, not new guy, but the guy they brought on to finish the job, they called in late. He says, you got to slow down. And all I want to do is get the fuck off that ship. I said, well, I'm not getting slowing down. He yeah. said, well, we got here, and we've only been paid for four hours or whatever it is, and we want to make it last. I said, well, you know, my mouth. I said, good for you, but I'm going to shovel as fast as I want to shovel. And he, so, he raised his shovel. <laughs> and I was, I lost it. The rational thing would be to be, because... The it's wrath so of stupid. Doyle at the, the end rational of the show. Thing, the no, you don't mess with the ILA, the, 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 the International Law Shopping Association. The rational thing to be would be, wow, why am I working so hard? Yeah, you're absolutely right. I get paid a little, but all I wanted to do was go home. They said, because they even said, we'll give, you, we'll give you a cot when you're done. I said, I'm not sleeping on a cot. But why did he think to, like, attack you with a shovel? Over that was the argument. first thing that went to his mind, yeah. Google ILA, International Law Shopping Association, and see how they do business. The amazing thing is that the three union guys beat the crap out of me. Oh, yeah. Oh, ILA? And the, and the, the books were closed, the, the, the union card. You couldn't get a union card because the ILA uh, was required. They had to hire, they was told they had to hire uh, women or people of color. So, so the answer, you know what the ILA's answer to that is? Shovel fights? No, no more, no more, no more books. We're not, and, and things were getting automated at the time. Um, no, it's, it's uh, listen, I, did you win at least? We not, it never swung. He backed down. Oh. No, that's, that's how crazy. I, I, I'm glad he backed down because I, I didn't care. I didn't care. It's, it's, it's bad. Stupid. So. You dodged your, your, your next concussion with that one. No, I probably would have been knocked out. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was, I, it was, I wasn't even, I wasn't, the union was close. I wasn't even a union guy. Right. So I'm not, so this, you know, it's possible the other guy wasn't because a lot of us weren't. Um, because if it had been a union guy, my guess is as soon as I raised my shovel, I, I'd be in the water. So, right. yeah, the union guys don't mess around. And, and I'm, I'm pro-union, don't misunderstand me, but at that point, I just wanted to get off that damn ship. Yeah. Yeah, I was tired. I was so vain. I was so vain. I would shovel. I've told you this before. <laughs> Most people, you know you have your right-handed or left-handed shovel. Right. And I would switch just so I wouldn't be like a... Fiddler crab, asymmetric. <laughs> and I, and my right. wife, I, I got offered a two-year contract after that. And my wife's, we were dating, and she said, I said, no, I'll make the money. They offered me 25000 and a car, which is a lot of money then. I too, and my wife said, you won't go back to college. Oh, yeah, I'll go back to college. She's right, I wouldn't have gone back to college. I love being outside. I love working. Um, I love money, a bit of money. It was, it was, <laughs> you get that racks? You get the racks? No. I mean, Dr. Doyle gets bands. That's not even you get bands. Yeah. Like, it's money. Racks of money. Like, you're, get, you're, you're a player when it comes to, like, money. Racks. No, I know. Money I made less, when I started, when I, my first real job out of, out of residency, I made, I made less money than a nurse. It was a grant fund. I'm such an idiot. It was a, 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 kind of, a, a van that went out to the projects, the public housing, and to uh, the shelters. Back then, Newark, they well housed the families, the Carlton Hotel, the old Lincoln Motel. They, they warehoused all the families in the same places. So that was my job, and it was grant funded. So they didn't have that much money. I said, all right, I will, I will take the job. And I was making, I forget, I'll make up numbers. And those, I was making like 50, 55, and the nurse was making 70. And, uh, but I just figured, it's, it's, it's nothing. I, I don't lack my confidence. I figured, well, I'll, I'll raise the money, and I'll get, when we get the money raised, I'll pay myself. Well, University Hospital, there's something called University Physicians Associates. It's a union shop. I didn't know that. 
So I, I get this the project going. I go to the chairman. I said, all right, now I want my, I want at least, you know, I want to be paid more than a nurse. He said, you can't get more than 5% raise on top of whatever the built-in oh, raise. Yeah. So I'm an idiot. Yeah. But I'm lucky. Well, I mean, my wife has all the money. I have no idea how much I have. So, You've been great, Dr. Girl. Thank you. We really appreciate That's it. That's a very abrupt end. That's <laughs> I mean, a long, long... Before, before we end, we, we just like a shout-out for Labib Chowdhury. Oh, yeah, our best friend, Labib Chowdhury. I like, saw him in the hall. If you could be like, shout-out Labib Chowdhury. He's a great guy. He loves you. The who? Labib Chowdhury. Just say, shout-out Labib Chowdhury. He's from Bangladesh. Is that is Labib Chowdhury mean something in another language? No, 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 it's no, a, no that's a guy. his name. It's a guy. Nice. His name is Labib that's, Chowdhury. You've never seen him in this That is the Le- greatest name. I know, right? Right? That is the greatest yeah. thing. Shout him I you tell know, him that every time. A I shout play. out to Labib. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Labib. Shout out to Labib. It is a great name. That is wow. a great name. Labib, yeah. Labib. Well, that's great. I think we're going to sign off. You've been a great. Yeah. Yeah. You've yeah. got to do this the medical. This wonderful. Do the medical. Yes, you've been wonderful. Phenomenal. You've been one of our best interviews. Thank you so much for your time. I went to talk to him. All right. Well, this has been 2-2 with the Canadian. Yeah. Signing off. Thank you very much, gentlemen.